Shalom family. Just want to go into some things that are going on here in America as far as our people and just the the killings that's going on in the streets of, you know, a lot of these cities where the 12 tribes are scattered not knowing who they are and you know these curses of Deuteronomy 28 that we must overcome, you know, with the blood of Christ and coming back to these law, statutes, and commandments. And why, you know, our people have to know who they are so that they can, you know, try to hold themselves accountable and try to do better while they're in this world through the Spirit. And, you know, we know not everyone's going to make it, but if we just continue to shine a light on this darkness of this world and just help a young brother or sister that's out there dealing with this, you know, walking in darkness, not knowing the things that they are doing, you know, is against the most high. You know, we in Deuteronomy chapter 28, and verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. And you know, that's why our people just so much money being made by our destruction, so much money being made just off of the man versus the woman, the uh, the children against the parents, you know, the murder. It's a whole industry and our people are calling it the culture. But we far worse as a people today than we were just, you know, 50 years ago. So that the man that is tender among you, the young man, and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. And that's what we're seeing. Going into some of the cities across America. Just talking about just places like St. Louis, Detroit, saying that, you know, over 821 shooting victims in just St. Louis alone, right? And... We just worried about what's going on overseas in the in the news when the real, you know, crisis has been going on here in America. They're not looking to just really clean up, you know, our people are just the, the crime in the streets because why? Crime pays. So we got to know this word of the Lord, you know, that is a kingdom prepared for us and those that are looking to seek him. And just be a part of this kingdom of Christ, our Lord and Savior. And these numbers are just Chicago, L.A., you know, every state, wherever the children of Israel are. And crime pays, you know, you get the judges to get paid, the lawyers, um, the prison system. Thou shalt not kill, Exodus 20 and 13. Is anyone really fearing the Lord? Thou shalt not kill a commandment from God. But if you don't have the fear of the Lord, and so anything goes. If you don't have the fear of the Lord, then you're not looking to keep his commandments. You're not looking to, to live your life in a righteous way according to his law. That's why we must teach our people. Look, man, you know, this book is real. The history. Some people got to get the history first. Some people, you know, they already believe in the most high. They just don't got that knowledge up. So then you show them, you know, okay, look, this is how real it is. You got to study to show yourself approved to be a servant, right? And they want us to worry about these reports over there, you know, in Gaza. And these numbers been going on for decades here in America. The slaughter of each other, uh, just brainwashing each other that this, 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 so-called black-on-black crime, they don't want to clean it up. They don't want to clean it up. In places like Chicago, just letting it go on no state of emergency because they want us to get rid of each other. And, you know, we pray, you know, the most highs will be done in the next generation that comes through, you know, they start just to keep his ways, keep his law. Because there's no coming back, right, after the most high judgment. 
you're not going to get a second do-over at this. You're not coming back as, as a, a bird or something else. It's appointed for men to die once and then the judgment. So, we know we pray that the most highs will be done and wake people up. We in Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 17. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord, because they call thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. No one's looking to save you. So our people must repent, you know, teach each other about the ways of the most high God, take some accountability and responsibility to be a light and to restore and raise up Jacob because this is Zion whom no man seeketh after. No one's looking to help these people. These people been doing these things to each other. That's their culture. But when it happens to somewhere else, you know, the people going out there saying we must pray for Palestine and, and this, but the real children of Israel right here in massive number. Right now, as you we reading this lesson, somewhere in America, somewhere in Brazil, other countries, Haiti. So we must continue to restore our people. Pray the Most High have mercy on whom you have it. Because you only got a little bit of time here. You know, we them, them ancient people, them ancient mighty Israelites. And some don't want to wake up. Some don't want it. But they can't make these prophecies go away. We got to have brotherly love out here. Chalwan.